pray for us. I hope that you are joyful and praising the Lord for uh, yesterday's amazing victory that Judge Amy Barrett was um, confirmed. She is going to be the um, uh, next Supreme Court judge. And I'm so thankful, Stacy, for you to be here and Randall. Um, that's wonderful. And uh, I, I want you to be encouraged that God is in control and uh, <coughs> that he has our, our lives in his hands. So let's go ahead and pray. Our Heavenly Father, we come before you and we praise you and we honor you and glorify you for who you are. Our Lord, our Savior, our Redeemer, our hiding place, the one that loves us so much went to the cross to die for our sins, and you change our destiny from hell to heaven. Thank you for taking care of us. Thank you for honoring us because we have amazing value in you, and thank you for taking care of us, even when we notice or we do not notice. We pray for our country, and we pray for our president and vice president. We pray for election. And we pray for people that don't know you, that today might be the day that they will know you as their Lord and Savior. And uh, we pray all of this in Jesus' name. Uh, I will uh, pray, I will read Psalm 191. It's NIV. I lift my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your feet sleep. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will never slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, <clears throat> nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. Praise the Lord for that. I want you to be encouraged, and I know when the evil one comes with lies to keep you under his shackle and to keep you um, powerless and a victim, to be uh, reminded that God is our protector and our mm, help comes from the Lord, not from uh, a paycheck, not even from savings, not from government, not from even our cleverness. In fact, he is the one who gave us all the skills, all the talents. Um, I also want to encourage you that even if you are right now isolated and you might be even in a um, um, sick uh, um, stage of your life and maybe on a, a bed in a, in a hospital or anyway by yourself, I want you to know that you are never alone. You, God is watching over us every single minute, every single day. And also he is watching us, no matter the stage in our life. We might be in mother's womb or might be trying to walk, or we might be uh, 90, 100 years old. Uh, God is taking care of us and he is watching over us, over our coming, and going, not only now, but forever. One day we're gonna be with God in heaven and uh, we will spend our entire life. Um, when the, the evil one comes, comes to you, I hope you are reminded by God's promises. And uh, if you have a chance, uh, you can memorize those promises and say them back to you and say it loud so you can shut the mouth of the evil one. Um, I wish you um, a wonderful day, even if it's raining or cold outside. I hope the warmth of God's uh, love 
through he, uh, the Bible and through his promises will keep you warm, will keep you closer to him and will keep you focused that no matter what, no matter the um, coronavirus situation, uh, election uh, next week, uh, situation at work, no matter what, he is in control and he takes care of all our needs. Remember that he said that the Lord will keep you from all harm. With that in mind, I hope you are going to praise and honor the Lord all day long and uh, have a wonderful and uh, joyful day in uh, with Christ as you walk, as you share your concern with him, as you receive um, his power and his victory for today. May the Lord bless you and uh, um, make him, uh, you a blessing to others. Until next time, bye-bye.